Hey there, Sharon Horn Nelson here. Welcome to day 1,853 of What You Have to Now. Documented the journey as I originally was involved in offline businesses because I have been around since before the internet and corporate America. I spent over a quarter century in corporate America, decades, almost five decades. I know, lots, lots, lots in running, owning, operating my own businesses. I started my first business when I was 13, which I'm pretty excited and proud about, and I couldn't have done it without the help of my my dad and my family, etc., and my sisters, but uh, it was fun. So, painkillers, pain, emotional well-being are our topics today. Our idiom for Supersize Your Business was to be a painkiller, and we talked about how it's important to solve problems or pains for your customers in order to grow and build and supersize your business, as well as having a strategy in your own business for handling pains and challenges because lots of people think of challenges as pains that come up and are inevitably going to come up and expand as your business gets bigger your problems get bigger people think if they have this false belief that oh if i just have a million dollar business or a 10 million dollar business or a billion dollar business all of my problems will disappear and go away because money solves all our problems right no not so much once you've experienced it you'll realize exactly what i'm talking about uh our, our problems are as big as we are and they expand just like our business expands and grows our problems will grow as well uh, it just impacts more and more people and the, the zeros behind the numbers are bigger when you're dealing with different uh, size businesses so we talked about that uh, and then I, I've had decades my whole life I've had illnesses and challenges and especially once I hit my 20s I had some really debilitating um, pain related challenges with my eyes my kidneys my uh, arthritis and inflammation throughout all the joints in my body and I actually have at this point I had forgotten about a bunch of them until I was um, reading some of my old mail documents Mayo Clinic in Rochester I went through a couple of times and was reading about um, the tests and the things I had in, and all the places I had inflammation in my joints and couldn't function and move and I had actually blocked out a lot of that because in my 20s I was bedridden for the better part of three years and wasn't getting much done in life uh, I couldn't see couldn't move for the most part so I was pretty much in a dark room in a bed the majority of my days and uh, at about the three-year mark my doctors in the different disciplines because they didn't work together back then were like well you know what we've reached the end of what we know we can't diagnose exactly what the root cause or what's causing this we have no diagnosis except for you've got some systemic inflammation type related chronic illness and disease but we don't know what it is so you know keep taking I think if they had Decadron back then they didn't really have opioids and things that they used uh, and then different eye drops I mean I was literally putting eye drops in my eyes or ointments in my eyes uh, sometimes you know three every 15 minutes or more all day long and then when I'd wake up at night it was it was it was crazy my full-time job was trying to get healthy and take all these medications and I finally realized when I got that diagnosis after being pretty devastated for a, a while and I don't remember how long now but it was longer than I wanted it to be I was like mm, no this is not going to be my life I'm not gonna you know I wanted kids I wanted a family I wanted a career I wasn't going to just throw in the towel and and lay in bed for the rest of my life so I had to make some changes that I and that's when I discovered it was really up to me it wasn't up to doctors or anybody or anything outside of me figuring out how I was gonna live my life it was up to me and I, I came up with different tricks and strategies um, that helped me remember there was no internet back then so I couldn't just hop on the internet and research and find all kinds of possible solutions and nowadays you can ask the AI and they'll give you a bunch of tips tricks and strategies of what to do to solve any pain or problem you might have doesn't mean they'll all work but it uh, there there are a lot of them and the vast majority of the ones that will work for you and really help you and solve your problems do not come in a pill bottle never will never have never will there are there are illnesses there are problems there are challenges that need a pharmaceutical pharmacological solution but the vast majority of them don't our bodies are designed to heal themselves and the more artificial junk we put into them the more pills we put into them the less capable they are of solving the problems themselves this is of course my opinion uh, you don't have to agree with me 
Um, and everybody's experience is different. Mine is different than yours. My ability to tolerate pain, our, our ability to tolerate pain and challenges is different for each and every one of us as well. Uh, I'd say one of the best things we can do is develop belief in ourselves and resilience and just knowing that we're going to figure it out and it's going to be up to us to figure out what works for us. Anyway, I digress. Today's my son's birthday, so I'm going to go make a cake and get ready for my granddaughters to come over. I get to see all my granddaughters today uh, and my kids too for my son's birthday. So I'm very excited about that. If I can help you anyway, ask. Otherwise, I'll be with you tomorrow. Have a fantastic pain-free day.